Hello. Good evening. Yes. How are you? Fine. How is your night going? It's okay. Um, my friend has told me that I should explain to you that he's busy. Truly, he worked. So maybe he's at work. That's why he couldn't talk with you that much. You understand? What's his job? Um, he sells wears. <clears throat> sells what? Wears, wears, wears. What is that? I don't understand. Clothes, clothes. Ah, oh, clothes. Okay. Yeah. So it's like he has lots of customers, so he has to attend to them. Okay. Baby, are you now satisfied? Yes. But I can never be mad at you or angry at you. You know I told you that I'll be mad at you and I'll be angry at you for calling me a liar and for not trusting me. But because I love you and I'll always love you, I will not be mad at you. You understand? I'm also, I am temperamental too, but since I came to understand what it means to be loved and being in love with you, I wave everything away, all because of you. I wonder why you and I will be on this and you can't trust me because I'm not here with you or you're not here with me. I told you earlier before now that the number I gave you was my friend's number. But you didn't believe me. You never trust me. You never believe in my word. Now, you have confirmed that he's my friend. What else will I do to prove to you that I am honest to you? I want Nothing. to speak truth to you. Nothing? Mm -mm. It's okay. Then, then why do you choose to trust me every time? Every time? Not every time. Because anytime I tell you something, you always doubt me. You always doubt me and it hurts me. It hurt. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep all night because I was just thinking. I was just wondering, why is it that whenever I... This kind of scenario happened to me some years back when I was dating a girl that lives in Lagos and I was in the East. Whenever I tell her something, she would not believe me. The next thing she would tell me is, take a picture and send to me or make a video and send to me or I will call your video to see. You know, it's it hurts. It hurts. And a relationship that has no trust is very hard for it to stand. It will be fading away. But once the trust and belief is there, regardless the distance, regardless whoever that matters, the relationship will always stand. Since last night up to now, I couldn't sleep. I am done with doing my housework and just sitting down here waiting for you to reply my message that I sent you last. You don't know how much I love you. I'm even jealous whenever I see you talk to another man or another man talking to you. But I can't help it. I know you are the jealous type and you don't find it interesting me talking to other girls i don't talk to other girls if i'm awake most times it means i don't sleep you know the kind of job i do previously before i quit because of you so it has been part of me finding it difficult to sleep i was once a scammer which you know but i stopped everything i quit but because of the the habit and the lifestyle of being awake all night, it has been part of me for years. So most times, difficulty of sleeping in the night has been a very big problem to me. So if I'm awake, it does not mean that I'm talking to a girl. No. I have some of my friends that stays in Turkey, guys. 
that we are all together in the East here that travel to Turkey. So most times ah, in Turkey, Turkey, what are what what are they doing there in Turkey? Um, the truth is, I will not lie to you. I actually don't know what they are doing in Turkey. I don't know because you know I noticed one thing about um, um most of this my most of the guys that do travel to Europe. I noticed one thing about them that um they find it difficult to tell people here in Africa what they actually do. So that is the reason why if I have a friend that travel to overseas, I don't ask him what he do for a living. Rather, we we'll just talk, crack joke, reminisce the time, the present, and time being wasted. So I don't ask. Like this, my friend Nanda is in Turkey. I have never asked him what he do for a living in Turkey because I know he's not ready to tell me. So I don't want to even ask him that. So okay. it won't be an issue. Let it not be as if I'm trying to to monitor his life or you understand so i don't like someone to be having this uh, negative um, impression towards me because of the kind of question i ask so that's why i like being myself i believe um, in life anything you are doing you know what you are doing okay. that is what i believe i understand so please i beg you in the name of god just Trust me, believe me. I would never do anything to hurt you. I know you are too emotional. I know you are the emotional type. And when someone you love hurts you emotionally, it makes you go crazy. You won't be yourself. You feel like going mad. I understand your nature. That is why I'm doing everything possible in my power to make sure I don't do anything to hurt you. Rather, to make you happy every single second of my life. I can't help it but thinking about you all the time, all the time, all the time. This morning, my baby mama came to see her son. You understand? You know, we are, we are facing these rainy days of 18, so um, the boy had a cold, cold enter his body and he has malaria again because I couldn't complete the full treatment of the boy, so I believe it came back again. So she came to see the boy. Um, she was kind of telling me some words that hurt me too, but I I didn't say anything to her. I was just looking at her. After she said all manners of words, she left. I did not say anything because I don't need to say anything. Like what? She was like, I, I thought you have a, a girlfriend that stays uh, in overseas. Since you are no point enough to take care of a child, can she help you? Or your relationship is it all, all about talking on phone, blah, blah, you know? Saying shit, but I, 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 I was like, what is wrong with you? I thought you came to see your son and know how he's doing. So why all this conversation? Do you have any problem with her? She doesn't know you don't know her. And she's not ready to know you. So I don't understand. Do She's his mother. Does she need a stranger? I don't to feed his I son. Just... Did, am... did she a... did she make a ch a child? Since it, she that, can't that take crazy. care of him, can I know? Don't don't mind her. I, that's why I couldn't say anything to her. Because I don't understand. She's why, his why, mother. Why? The of his son. I don't know. I don't know. And I she needs and she needs someone, a stranger, to take care of his of her son. I don't understand. I believe I believe what I believe is that uh, she is just jealous, that is all nothing else. You know jealousy can make someone say think that he or she shouldn't say just because he or she is jealous. I don't so care I don't about think. her. Come on. Honestly. I, when she was saying all these things, I I didn't even utter any word. I just I was just keeping quiet, looking at her because her problem is not my problem. I have other problems. The, my the way forward is how to treat the boy. So I'm not, I don't even give. A saying. So it's not a problem. It's not a problem. So she's not a problem. She can't even be a problem. That is the thing there. Uh, do you? How, what's up? How did you go with the manager? 
No, he didn't give me any code. He said uh, he wanted only to see me to eat something to talk. I didn't understand, but it's okay. I'll go again to the office. I really don't understand this manager. I like I told you yesterday. It's like something fishy is going on. I'm still suspecting something is not right. Like what? Why did the manager find it difficult to send this money? I'm still wondering, since Friday up to today, is how many days now? Why does he find it difficult to? That is one thing I keep asking myself, why? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe you are taking this thing lightly with them, honestly speaking. You are taking it lightly with them. I'm taking what? You are taking it lightly with them. Why? Because if you are mean, if you are mean down to the edge to them, he won't be playing with you like this. He called you thinking that he will apologize for the delay and everything and do the stuff and then give you the reference number or he could do it just to call you for a conversation i just i don't understand i don't understand yeah i don't understand either let me ask you what do you suggest what do you want to do tell me yeah i will go again to the to the office And when you go to the office and you bring up another story, what will you do? I will see. I will tell you. <clears throat> Yesterday, I told you that regardless anything that he will say, you should insist that either he gives you your money or he do this stuff. You didn't tell anyone. And that was the reason why I asked you to give me his number. I will call him direct myself. I will call him on WhatsApp. I can't I give you, you but you refused. his number because he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that. means that he has squandered that money. The money is not in his custody. He is looking for a way to play you. That is what I see. Because I don't see the big deal there. Someone coming to the world and... Um, you you made a transfer. Do you think so? He's trying to play with you. That is what I think. He's not serious. He's not straight. Come on, think of it. He's not straight. If he's really, he won't be doing this. That very day that uh, you, I, I told you to call for the manager, he came. And he checked the lady, the salamato of a thing. He checked her computer and he found out that she blacklisted my name. She didn't because he made such utterances. I was expecting him that very moment to rectify it and send it. Then give me the reference code instantly. That is what he should do because that is his job because he's the manager. But since then, he has been extending it. I don't understand what is happening. I keep saying it. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know. This is very strange. Honestly. Can you do me a favor? What? And I'll be glad if you do me this favor. And I have my reasons why I really want you to do me this favor. What? Um, can you go to another shop and do go to the office and collect the one you gave them? Come on, what is this? I think that, I think that is the best thing. Stories will keep coming. Stories will keep coming. I will I not go the to the moneygram again. Maybe Western Union. 
You know I don't have Western Union account, except I'll get my friends. You don't need an account for Western Union. So you can still use my name, this same name I give you? Yes. All right. Then it will be the same. Then go to the Western Union and but let me ask you, I don't have the ideology of this Western Union. Is it the same thing uh, with MoneyGram that I will still get a reference number to make the withdrawals or what? Yes, it's the same. Okay. Why not then? I will even prefer you going to the bank. The bank can be very fast than all this shit. But you don't have an account on dollars. <sighs> That's the problem. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, 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 this is what we do. Then go to the Western Union and through the transfer. Then you go to the request for the money you gave them that you're no more interested in transferring the money. Okay. I will. All right, baby. I hope you're not doing the Western Union in the same office again. I don't know if they have Western Union there. Baby, I don't even want you to do anything Western Union in that same office. The only thing that matters now is when you go to that office, you tell them that you don't want to make any transfer again. They should give you the $500. But before then, I want you to firstly go to the Western Union and do so, and make the transfers. Then before you go to the office and collect the one you gave them. Okay. What is the time now? It's morning, it's six o'clock. Uh uh. You haven't slept? I did, but not too much because um it was an accident on the street and ambulances and police and it was noise. But I hope nobody was hurt. I don't know what happened. Exactly, but it was noise. Okay. Yes, you came back home late then. Yeah, I slept a little. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I have to go. I have to go back to the home. But if they will not give me money back, I have to call the police. That is what you do. That is exactly what you do. The manager needs to be arrested and the so-called Salamatsu award needs to be arrested because this is a fraudulent act. That is what I think. Because how can I'm still one because if it is in Nigerian here, that is why um, I like myself because I love making troubles. If it is in Nigerian here that I want to make a transfer to someone, there was a time, there was a time some months back that um, I was given the money to make transfer to someone. So I went to the, uh, the office to make some transfer to the person and the person called me at the end of the day that he did not receive the money. So I went back to the office. The man in charge was trying to play with me. I created a very huge awareness in that office. That um, every, I got okay. everybody's attention. I closed down the whole laptop and said, nobody in this office will work if they did not give me the money back. I was damn serious. If they are ready to call the police, call the police because this is democracy and I'm standing on my own rights. This is not military regime. A very huge awareness. So what they did was they refund the money back to me because I was mad. Then I went to another office and made the transfer. Instantly, the transfer went. The person called me and said he has received it. So how can someone gives, give you money since Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Today is the fifth day. Come on. It's obvious. It's obvious. And yes. it's annoying. It's annoying. It's, yes, no, maybe, it is. Maybe, 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 maybe because you are gentle. You are gentle with them. You are not harsh. You are gentle with them. What do you want me to do? What I want you to do today is this. 
once you are about to leave, go to the Western Union, but not in that office, a different office again. Okay. Okay. Yes, go there. Yeah, go to the Western Union with my same name. Make the transfer. Send. Tell them to give. It's not a code. transfer. I will send money. It's not transfer. Only in the bank is bank okay. transfer. Okay. Okay. Go, you, when you get to the Western Union, you send the money. They should give you the reference code. Tell them to give the reference code. There's no need for the receiver to call them for the reference code. Or they should put in the reference code in the slip that they will give you to snap and send to me. So two things are involved. Either they give the reference code for you to send to me, or it will be in that slip that they will give you to snap and send to me. Then from there, you can go to that and that you don't want to send the money again. You want your money back. Okay. 